Look at that, that's a kill shot. All right, so a couple videos ago, I had did uh, a review, well, not a review, I just asked a question on this uh, Leupold Vendetta 2 rangefinder. The issue that I had with it was that when I pushed this top corner into my bow, then it would actuate it. And so when I went to store it in my case, you know, it would trigger the, the range finder and the strain out the battery and whatnot. I'm not still not sure exactly what happened or what the problem was, but the kind folks at Leupold were gracious enough to honor their warranty. And so they had sent me a new one. And uh, with that, it does not actuate when I push on it. And so I'm happy. Uh, the only issue is now I have to reset, recite it in. Um, and we're gonna go through the instructions today and see how that's done. All right, so let's go with our first measurement. We gotta go from, you're not gonna be able to see this very well, I don't think, but we're gonna go from this laser right here at the bottom. I have three holes. I have three holes. The, la the laser here at the bottom, the middle of that to my very, the top pin, so. When we can find, I'm gonna just do use the one inch. No, I'm gonna use a two inch halfway through there to the top pin, halfway through. Looking at about two and three sixteenths when I subtract that two inches. So I've already did this earlier, but I lost the video. Oh, I wasn't recording, but anyways, two and three sixteenths is two point one nine. They like the decimals here. Uh, so now we got to find the the left right, and to do that, I just I'm gonna use a straight edge, and then we'll uh, get that figured out. All right, let's see what we can do here. Maybe we just hold it like that. I need a level too, but so that is center center. I'm just gonna use the whole thing. I mean I'm gonna try to get it close, but so I'm gonna say half inch hard to hold steady but yeah I'm gonna say a half inch let's say 0.5 right all right and then the next step we gotta draw this thing on the on the map something to that effect all right so yeah the next step I'm gonna have to come over like two and three sixteenths from uh, from the circle two and three sixteenths will put me about right there and then these go by half inch increments, so. Oh damn, wrong way. See, this is how easy you make the mistake. Two and three sixteenths. Gonna be that way. So, is that four and three on the thing? Two and three sixteenths, so then we're gonna be a half inch over, so I can actually pull from this line. 
4 and 316. Right there. Alright, so the next step is we have to draw a two inch circle. And um, so I'm just going to take my measurement here and go one inch up. All right there. Go one inch over. All right there. One inch down. And another inch over. And so I don't have a compass, whatever. I probably should get one. That's going to be about the ugliest circle you're ever going to see. So, anyways, there's my... There's my circle. Not an artist. Now, this shit's painful to watch, I bet, for those of you who caught this. But, my bow or my vendetta is actually offset on this side if I'm standing behind it. And so I, I did the offset on the wrong side. So my two inch is actually going to be over here. Oops. Well, that'll be right. God dang. I hope they make these printable online, but at least you get to see the mistakes. So I'm a, I'll try to illustrate this one real quick too. Cause I, I and I've already done this once, so it's it's kind of obvious that I should have caught that. But here's the deal: when you're when you're aiming. You know, aim through there well you could see that my sight pins over here and so the laser is going to be on the right hand side of my bow so that's at the actual offset that we're trying to take into account for i should have explained that earlier but hopefully that's a lesson for some of you guys <laughs> so you don't make the same mistakes i'm okay with failing as long as i'm learning so <laughs> anyways that's my good one and We'll have to keep that in mind going on out or here on out. I will say the thing that got me was this right here, you know, because this shows the offset over here, but I didn't read the instruction. So there's, it says right there in the note. So that was my fault. But anyways, live and learn. Okay, so you can see I got the target down range with this the circle that I drew in on the right offset side so now we got to go and um, align this at 20 yards which I'm 20 yards I've marked it off and then I just spray painted a blue line a thin blue line and uh, so now we got to activate the alignment laser by pressing and holding the power pad for 10 seconds. The timer will be shown. And then we just got to aim it at the circle that I drew. And then make adjustments left or right, up or down accordingly. So, and this is supposed to be done at full draw. So I'm going to put an arrow in here so I'm not drawing without an arrow. And I know I just got basic equipment. I mean, this is just a um, the a stock sight and a arrow like holder, whatever guide. But um, I'll change all that stuff as I go. So, anyways, pin pad for ten seconds. One one thousand. Two one. Oh well, you just gotta hold it till this count this counts down and then it'll
There's the laser. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of oh, it's on the deer right now. <laughs> I haven't drawn anything in a long time. Oh, there it is. So I am really high. So I am really high. Alright, so these have little set screws. You loosen one up and then tighten the other one. Like if I tighten that one on the bottom while that's loose, then it'll push it forward and draw it down. And then you gotta tighten the other one up to lock it in place. The same with this. If you uh, loosen this one up, tighten this one, it's gonna push on it, and then draw that back, that rear end, inwards towards the bow, like I wanted. And then tighten the other side back up. And then we'll give her a try. my laser I really like the the placement of this you know just right along the thumb there so all I gotta do is just squeeze my knuckle in and actuate it all right all right I'll take you along for the ride on this one just so I can't say I should have shown that and I didn't all right so anyways we loosen oops everything's backwards all right I'll loosen this bad boy up and we're gonna just give it a little bit of room. Make little happy spaces. You would think over 20 yards that would give me enough room. Of course, you know what that does, right? to make my um, my circle eighth inch or so over All right, so my circle is gonna be about an eighth over, which I kinda wanna keep the same ratio, cause I mean, over 20 yards, it might not be that far off, but 40, I could, I could be a mile off. All right, so. Kinda give her another shot here. Remember, all I'm doing right now is just actuating that laser. You only need to do this for setups. Unless you really want to laser point your deer or your target. Alright, so I just took this piece off right here, or loosen that off. I dropped this down and then I retighten that, that nut in there. So now it doesn't have any play whatsoever. Or that bolt, I'm sorry. Um, so now I'm going to recheck it 
and I'm guessing I'll probably have to bring this back. But uh, we'll see what she looks like. All right. So I don't know if this is a recording or not. It is. All right. Okay. So now that I have my um, thing sighted in, so anything I touch with that top pin or align with the top pin through my sight hole people um, is going to direct that rangefinder at that uh, that target at that 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 target so for instance here's what's oops all right so all I gotta do is I can draw up on something all right click this with your thumb and top pin is on the the deer the target and 21 yards so then you just adjust your 20 yard mark 20 yard pin on it and let her rip easy as that Look at that, that's a kill shot if he didn't uh he didn't jump. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have fun with this thing. Alright you guys. Loophole Vendetta 2. Slick as shit. Don't have to mess around with holding the um uh range finder separate. And if you're not good at guessing ranges. Like I'm not good at guessing ranges. You'll find this an invaluable tool. So there it is. Thanks Loophold for making it. And I'm glad to have learned how to correctly pronounce your name. Click the like, click the subscribe, and we'll keep more coming. Thanks a lot guys. Bye. GoPro, stop recording.